TLO. Damn. Some, uh, what is this? I just woke up. I should have probably washed my face. But anyway, TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Man, let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, is that slobber? I'm going to edit all of this out. Don't worry. Uh, Benefit Street, Season 1, Episode 5. It's in 720p, too. This is... Finally, this is my... This is this is what I've been waiting on. Some quality. We've been watching 320p. Does anybody know how many episodes it is in Season 1? So I'm not sitting here looking dumb looking for more episodes once this is done. Anyway, let's get into it. Fast forward to the intro. W fast forward. Oh my God. Okay. It's a Black D back in the mix. Big day on James Turner. Oh. Matriarch of the street, White D, is turning 42. Me, I thought someone was being killed. And the whole neighborhood knows about it. I've got friends who don't even know who the next door neighbors are, who might have been living somewhere for like 10, 15, 20 years, and they don't even know who lives next door to them. Make a wish. <laughs> How can you live not knowing who lives next door to you? What you mean? I don't know about one of my neighbors and don't want to know none of them. <laughs> Shit. Over the past year, government cuts have made life on benefits even tougher. <laughs> but on James Turner, there's a secret to Oh my god, my breath. It's making sure your neighbors are also your friends. It's blurry. Newcomer to the street, Zimbabwe-born Titch has only been on James Turner a couple of months, but he's settling in well. I didn't do dumplings, I'm just doing super. And he's already a big hit with single mum White D. I love Titch. Ah, ha, ha. Irish shirt. Yeah, just test it. Titch just fits in What really. they doing? Just like one of us. Got some microwave mashed potatoes in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Titch would do anything for anybody. He's a good geezer. On my birthday, when he got me uh, four cans on my birthday. White D and Titch. Good lad. <laughs> What's that stuff? Like many of his mates on the street, Titch is unemployed. Yeah, that's hard work. But while he looks for a full-time job, he's determined to keep the himself wax busy. in the concrete? Most of people in that street, I mean, they're lovely people, I'm telling you. They're lovely people, I love them. But there's some funny laziness which I can see in the street. Me, I don't have a choice. I can work any job. You can put me in the toilet, you can put me anywhere. I can sit in the office, I can sit on the computer. I can't do anything. So, is do you want to eat? That's the question. Yeah. With money his sister lent him, Titch has bought a van to try and get a scrap business off the ground. But he's yet to earn a penny. I see people, other people doing it. And then why can't I try? Why can't I try? It doesn't affect your pride. What pride? Do I have a pride? We die the same way. You buried the same way. You born without clothes. You die without clothes. You buried without clothes. Well, Titch, hopefully they bury me in a suit or something. Don't just bury me nude with my with my with my with my pickle everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Came to England 14 years ago, but when his relationship broke down, he lost his home. Now he's been placed in social housing, sharing with strangers. Uh, 
He's back to square one. My boy don't even got a, a can opener to That's his name. My girlfriend, I'm a so I better start new life there. She's uh -huh. I'm all right. BBC! Shreddy, don't say that. Don't do that. Titch has made friends up and down James Turner. Oh, ma, what'd you tell me, brother? But his best mate is fellow Zimbabwean Michael, or Simba to his friends. Simba! Are you doing? You guys all right? I'm not Titch for donkey's years, but we are not like compadres as we are now. But, you know, we've got to do what we got to do at the moment. Right, right. Like Titch, Simba's also jobless. But recently, he's been keeping busy helping his mate get his scrap business up and running. <laughs> I'm just taking along with the moment. He's taking along. Come, let's have a sing here, sorry. I always had a question. Well, not always. I noticed this last time. Out there, y'all call black people African-American? Not African-American, I'm tweaking. What do y'all call black people? Just black people? Or do y'all call them uh, African United people? United Kingdom people? <laughs> Like, or is that just us that call black people African American? Hmm. Which some of us do find offended, offensive. Because we ain't all from, you know what I'm saying? People like to be, you know what I'm saying? I'm just curious. A trained paramedic, Simba came to England 14 years ago. Now he's renting in Winston Green. His aim is to build a career as a chef. That's all I think about food. Food, food, food. I'm telling you now. I'm strict in the kitchen. I don't mess about. Because when I walk in the kitchen, I'm head. I don't mess about. My intention is obviously to run my own, you know, my own shit. You know, I've, I've, I'm going to have my own eatery. Uh, you guys are going to come and pay 10, 10 quid for an egg. Jesus Christ, I can't wait for that. I know, where's my Oh, I thought it was done. Simba lives with his girlfriend, Hannah, and her two boys from a previous relationship. I'll catch you soon, yeah? Serious? Fana? Hi, Step down of the year. I hate this fear that comes out this thing. Can you see, Bob? They've been together six years. Was it love at first sight? What? She found head over my heels, man. I see this. He's going nice to beat his own chest. No, no, I know beat my own chest. Me saying like it is. I'm honest. Bumped in there by accident. Jesus Christ. I was condemned for life. I've seen him around. Whatever, you watch me. I wasn't watching you. Yes, you watch me. You watch me, you think, what the sweetness? One in the light, you know, well, the shortest man in the light, you know, out of it. His friend was dating my neighbor. Whatever, you hand me down, you hand me down, you hand me down, you hand me down like a liar. I didn't want to, I didn't, I didn't, I swear I Right now, Simba's broke. He's just missed the deadline to renew his visa. So he can't get work or claim benefits. Yeah. Just a nightmare. You you just can't relax. You can't relax. Basically, my uh, immigration status. So I've got to hang on up until it's been renewed. Yeah. So we you know I can't work. I can't do anything. They won't get all these two legs and there's myself. How the hell? The so why don't you get it renewed? It costs money to get it renewed, don't it? Yeah. That's why. Look at the hat. Are we gonna make a bonus? No, you're not gonna be. Not today. Well, for some, friendships keep them safe. One James Turner resident who doesn't mind his own company is council IT worker Ewan. Never been married or haven't got any children. It's it's wonderful. It's nice. <laughs> Homeowner Ewan has lived on James Turner for 14 years and is one of the few residents with a steady job. He leaves the house every morning to go to work, comes home. He doesn't even go out. He has his shopping delivered and doesn't bother anybody. He's been broken into and it's horrible, horrible. I think the pool little gate there has got damaged because people have been climbing over it. They need replacing it again. Uh, He's replacing and reinforcement. It's uh, it's not a bad street to live in. It's uh, it's 
convenient for the city centre and it's got good transport links to all over the place, really, so it's very easy to get away from. I can't have the cat and the duck next to each other, just in case. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a vibe from him, but I just don't want to say what kind of vibe on YouTube. Does the cat not eat the duck? You feel lonely? No, not really. No, because I'm, I'm in an office full of people all day long. So it's... Uh, it's nice to get back in a bit of peace and quiet. You're an Ready? IT worker? Steady, go! No! No! This man's still riding his bike doing skids. <laughs> Are you winning? Are you drinking a beer? <laughs> While most people on James Turner appreciate Titch's generosity, there's one person that doesn't, his housemate. And until Titch can afford to leave social housing, he has no control over who he lives with. I've been putting electricity for you for how many months? It's your fool. I've been giving you for fool. You can you hear? You I am a fool. You lock his and you break mine. I give him everything, feed him. He doesn't put electricity, he doesn't put gas, he doesn't put anything. Will you step on my shoe once more, yeah? When trouble brews, White D is never far away. I can't, I can't live in the house. I can't live in the house. I'm living like an animal. Because he's threatening me. He wants to fight with me, you see. So me, I'm just a bit scared to sleep there because if I, if I charge up, we're going to fight. You broke into your room? Breaking into my house. I don't need to break into your room. You haven't got nothing, blood. You got nothing. Nothing. You're a tramp, man. Look at your little trampy clothes that you wear, man. Look, this is, look, this is, this is designer. Hugo Boss, Nike. I'm talking about some Hugo Boss. Boy, if you don't get your, uh, get your, uh, hand me down. First of all, that's not designer. It's regular. Second of all, it seems to me you're a bully. You see this dude is doing nice things. He's just a nice guy. You're just going to bully him. That's why you're there in the first place. You're there because you're a bully. And it's you. Somebody going to get that ass. Don't worry. <laughs> Something gonna happen to him. Bullies always get what they deserve. Pitch is a real nice person. I really like him. It's just a real shame that ponies in the house. I'm Britain, innit? It's my country, innit? I go around Britain, innit? This is my country, too. What I do, innit? This is my country. What are you doing? Uh, what? Have you this got slaves? This is Where this. Where you are, you supposed to be back in Zimbabwe, innit? Mm. Back in the bush. Back in the bush. Doing your team. That, 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 that's Russia. What, what are you doing That's Russia. There's a plank of wood over there, and Tony's not far. Someone's gonna have to move here. You come from the bush. Yeah, the You're a bush now. guy, bro. I'm telling you. I'm coming from oh, rich bush. people. Fuck Go you. Go back to your little bush country where you come from. He bro. said, I'm coming from rich I'm people. Hiding what the are you in? I don't well, smell Benefit Street. With the nails. Go to the I've got to call police, right? Yeah, okay. I've got to call police. Get off the wall. Persons in the car. What's your Tony should be in the car. It's the disrespect on it. Just because you're living in shared accommodation does not mean that the next person can break into your room. Straight away, they, you know, they lack respect. And if you lack respect that way, you cannot cohabit. What you gotta understand, Titch, you know, he's a much older guy than him. In a way, he wants to help him. You know, try and show him the way. You know, just point him in the right direction. The rest is, it's, you know, the rest. I'm not even gonna lie. As soon as he would have disrespected me, I would have had to beat dude ass. Up and down that street. Clean. That's one thing I ain't tolerating, no disrespect. Not to my face. You can't disrespect, you can disrespect me all on the end. I don't care, but dude, once you get in my face trying to, it gotta, actually, it gotta be a certain level of disrespect. And that kicking in my door to my room and we share a house, I'm beating you up. I don't care. The rest is up to him. Teach. He's frustrated. That's why. That's why it's you know he's, he's resorted to this. Why is he in the back of the police car, Tone? I thought they were at my fucking house, man. I thought I've only gone half hour. What the fuck could have gone wrong? They're ruining my house if you want it to. Are you having a laugh? 
<laughs> you just jog on. Oh, fun guy. Not sleeping comfortable. No, when, it, when you're not sleeping there at you all, are you? So. When, when I sleep, he doesn't sleep. But this is what I'm saying. It's all. He finna watch. He he finna sleep over these. That baby is going to stab me or he's going to break no, in my no. house because I don't know his state of mind. No, no, I don't think I'd ever, ever, ever hear myself say that about telling someone to press charges against someone. But press charges. Yeah, Go hey, talk man. to him. Press charges. Teach. It's the mean, only hey, way. James Turner Street, Ash Street. The Bad Man Street. <laughs> To an outsider, James Turner might not always seem like the friendliest street in Britain. But when you're down on your luck, there's usually someone who'll give you a helping hand. 44-year-old Fungi's closest friend on James Turner is mum of two, White D. And right now, he needs her moral support. When did you first find the mum? Uh, I kind of want some toast now. Five months ago, and it was a, um, like a little dot. So why didn't you say something straight away? Scared. That's what it was really. Scared. That's why I've been to the doctors and all that. Like that I mean, I've got a um, couple of lumps. Just found out it could be couple. cancer. Mixed emotions at the moment. Do you know what I mean? Very mixed emotions. And, I don't know if they cry. If I cry, I wouldn't stop. Do you know what I mean? I want to tell my, my daughter and all that, you know what I mean? But I don't want to tell them. Do you know what I mean? I want to tell my dad, but I don't want to tell him yet. Do you know what I mean? You know, it's hard. It's hard, man. I'm tablet so medicine. Tablet. 500 mil, I don't know about You know, you have to show them what you are. Do what? No, I'm only joking. I don't know how to open them now. Sorry for me. You gotta do what? They expect them to say straight away, oh yeah, it's cancer. But now you tell me <gasps> it's one of three. No, but you never know, but if it is an infection or something like that, then this will just help it go down, won't it? There's no point, because... How about we just go to the doctor? Don't y'all got the NHS shit free, ain't it? Not out here just popping pills for no reason. You're panicking, yeah? It might just be a cyst. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, it could be. Cheaper? No, no, you can't fall. Nothing. It's rock hard. So what it is, it's rock hard. It's right there. It's ma it is big. Yeah. For James Turner newcomer Titch, life on the street has taken a turn for the better. Okay. His housemate from hell has disappeared. That boy is an idiot, believe me. Yeah, I'm just happy that he's gone. That's what I'm happy with. And he's starting to make new contacts in the scrap world. I'll find my key. I'm trying to create something for myself to do. I'm always be a hard worker. I don't know how much I'm going to make. Shit, that's a we got a lot of scrap workers in the, uh in Chicago. Like a lot. Maybe maybe we're killing though. <laughs> so I'm just I'm just trying to put as much effort as I can. So I see how much can I work so I can declare it and tell them. To say that I'm working this much. So if they can give me a chance, I'll be very grateful because I guess to sit on job seekers it's not healthy. I never sit on the door. This is my first time because of the situation, circumstances. For Titch's best mate Simba, life with his girlfriend Hannah isn't getting easier. He still can't get a job or claim benefits, and money is tighter than ever. I have to go through all this red type bullshit and just to get my status back up again and then actively look for employment because I've actually been offered a few jobs and I can't do nothing. Got phone calls yesterday. I can't do nothing. What can I do? I can't legitimately get a job at the moment up until all this shit comes through. That's a frustrating thing. You see me drink. Oh, it's taking time. Oh, I enjoy the drink. I enjoy drink at the end of the day. I don't really enjoy drinking during the day. Got a drink just to cloud it all over. 
You've been depressed. <laughs> Funny guy. Have you ever come across a black man who suffers from depression? Are you for real? <laughs> and that's the problem right there. That's the problem right there. Yes. Black people can suffer from depression. But we mask it as other things. And you, we drink, our, drink it away. Like, that's the problem. If y'all listening to this nigga, don't, don't. If you suffering from depression, you suffer from depression. The color doesn't matter. <laughs> depression is a luxury, you know that, yeah? Mm. See, that ain't true. See you in a bit. But Titch is worried about him. Simba is a nice kid, right? He's very intelligent, that boy. When you sit down with him, talking to him when he's sober, you know, you're talking to somebody which you can say, you know, Simba, I'm thinking this, what can we do? And I feel my heart soars when I see him wasting himself. I'm trying my best. Every day I'm lecturing him. If he cannot listen to my advice, then tough. Tough. <sighs> and Hannah's patience with Simba is wearing thin. All right, Senorita Mieya. Who? Who are you funny? I ain't funny nobody. Who are you funny? Me, yeah, yeah. Fun. What for? Fun. Has Simba you not having my phone? Tell you, man, man. He love to play with. He, I don't, I, oh, that's what I can't take with him. Oh, what? He's not ramping. He's not ramping. I, don't, ramping. I don't like him when he's playing with others. I don't like it. I really don't that's like it. it. What? So I can't have. Ah, uh, he's flirting. That's disrespectful. He was flirting right in her face. No brethren's that's, that's not that's, that's not, not brethren's. You don't do you don't because I'm not gonna go up in CDs have somebody ramping with CD like you know that. CD? I don't that's exactly I don't know him. Do you know Maxine? Uh, uh, you to only them, know right? what on the likes of the hill. You don't know what like that. I love me, I know Maxine. Maxine, me don't know you. <laughs> that's how that's how people become single. Have their complications. 50 year old Ewan, it's all about the simple life. What's for tea tonight? Oh, I think it's going to be chicken. Friday's usually pizza day. I like meat feast. Yeah, yeah. Poke some holes yeah. in there. I like music and I've got disco and rock. Right, so that's Billy Idol and Hot in the City. It's hot. Sorry, yeah, no, I'm not going. What's the giant? Wouldn't mind being in the Secret Service, but <laughs> maybe not to the extent James Bond is. Maybe a sort of back, backroom person designing the gadgets. It's getting or, a real vibe from um, him. Getting all the necessary paperwork ready or that sort of thing. Yes. So, I go out to work all day. When I come home, I just want to be able to chill out and relax and. Not get bothered by anyone else. But Ewan is finding that on James Turner, keeping yourself to yourself is easier said than done. It's only a box landed six foot fence. Unfortunately, the kids coming past just like chucking chucking bits over the fence. And, you know, they brought, they brought them making use of themselves and actually uh, find something intelligent to do. It doesn't impress me at all. I don't know. Ewan, blue as hell. It's 9 a.m. and Ewan is off to work. How long does it take to change? Last night, Hannah and her boys slept in Titch's spare room. Believe me. And Simba is making it clear he's not happy about it. He's of course not. Hell no, you can't go sleep at my best friend's house. Thrown her belongings out onto the street. Hey. All of us are here and we're chilling, we're laughing. We left. I got five pounds in my pocket. You wanted a drink. I says, No, you're not having a drink. You've had enough drink. He could barely walk down the road and he wants another drink. I says, No, you're not having another drink. He went in the house, put his keys in the door. So when I put my key in, I can't get in the house. You know what? I'm fucking. 
keys in the door. He says, no, you're not having another drink. He went in the house, put his keys in the door. So when I put my key in, I can't get in the house. Oh, wow. All over a drink when money is scarce and you don't have a job. I don't even be thinking about how y'all be doing. You know so you what? want her to sleep I'm on the street? Pissed off. That day I can tell you. Pissed off. I told him he needs to stop drinking. Yeah, he's an alcoholic. Hannah's facing the difficult decision whether or not to go back to Simba. If you're breathing from Simba, then tell me. So, but uh, don't let the kids suffer. You breathe at Simba only. I know you're crying for your Simba, but your Simba it's will not, come to your house. Bitch, it's not Simba. Would you just, you're not getting it. It's not Simba. Why am I not getting it? What you need to do today is just to go and look for somewhere to live yourself. Sort yourself. If I see you coming back to that one, I, I, I always know that you're crazy. Think of the kids. Those are your priority. I ain't even gonna lie. Titch gotta mind his business. Especially this this your best friend girl, you gotta mind your business, my boy. You already you already one strike in, letting her stay with you. I mean I I'm pretty sure you did it for the kids, but another man ain't gonna see that. You let my girl stay with you? Bro, we gotta scrap. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> Believe me. Take them to their father. If the father is closer, so you can access them. Tish is right. I can't put the kids through there again. He's absolutely right. Wait, wait, when he's not, wait, when he's not drinking, he's absolutely lovely. I he's swear not to you. No, Tish. But you see, when you're in a relationship. You see what I'm talking about? He's talking about. Don't. He's not lovely. He's not lo like. What are you doing, my boy? You want his girl? Like, you gotta chill out. That's your man's, bro. <laughs> you try and make everything work. I don't what know what it is. Please. Give the responsibility to the father for maybe two, three months. You're not surrendering them. Tell the father, say, I'll come and see Teach the kids. It's hard for me to I know it's hard, but if it's you hard. want to change, you, do you hear me? You are trying to turn your life better. If you love something, let it go. Okay. Call their dad. Buying the time to find a new place for her and the boys to live means making a painful call to their biological father. I'll sign over child tax credit. I'll sign over the benefits to you. I just want you to have them for a bit for me, please. If you can't, please. I don't feel comfortable at that um, Michael's house anymore. Damn. Yeah. Let me talk to you. Hold on, hold on. Hello? <gasps> oh my God. I mean, that's, that's hard to do. It's a, that's a hard. That's probably the hardest thing she hard. ever did in her life. That is hard. I've never. I've never lived without my kids, ever. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. He seems to understand, and he's a very good man, this one. He understands very well. And you'll be all right, madam. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Don't worry. We'll support you on that one. That's sad. There's a saying, when poverty comes in at the door, love flies out of the window. And James Turner Street can be a rocky road for relationships. Everybody got to trial and tribulation, stand up and fight. If an interest in a relationship and a wonder, if they love the other man on a fight. Hey. See you back round here tomorrow? Yeah. Yay. I mean, all dice will look after you. I'll do your lunch. Who is this? Do your nice, healthy brown bread salad sandwich. Will you let me jowl your hair? No. A brown bread salad sandwich? Please. You can jowl your hair, man. <laughs> you fancy me? You fucking do. Don't get typing that. You fancy me? <laughs> right here, why he whispers in me ear when we're on our own. Yeah, you get on the nerves. <laughs> YD got Titch, she got Fun Guy, she got this guy. <laughs> She's a cheeky little shit. She? Yeah. After her boyfriend Simba locked her out last night, Hannah's made the hard decision to move out of his house 
and leave him. I just have to move forward, even though he's gonna hurt. I just need to move forward. Over at Simba's, he's decided it's time to contact Hannah. Surprise, surprise. I don't want to smoke, but I'm addicted to nicotine. Alcohol, I don't give a flying fuck about alcohol because you know what? I can spend seven days. That's cap, because you just locked your girl out the crib because she wouldn't give you some money for alcohol. 14 days not touching a beer, it doesn't hurt me. I'm not like, I've got to have a beer every day. But when you want one, you want one, and you mad about it. The only reason why I will have a drink as and when I can have it is because I can have it then. What? Where I'm coming from? No. <coughs> After taking medication, the lump on fungi's chest isn't getting better, so he's been back to the doctor. It's not an infection, but he's not telling me why it is. So that's not good to me. It's just a bit more worrying, you know what I mean? I'd rather know what it was, you know what I mean? They gotta take a they gotta go in and take a piece of it to find out if it's cancer, so then they gotta let you know. Take some tissue from it. It should still take it out though. When you seen it, it's like what I suppose they've gone down. I said I told you it wasn't. I just have to wait now until I get there, you know what I mean? It's gonna do me heading, but that's how it goes. Fungi's next appointment will be at the hospital. I took my mom within six months, she died with cancer. Do you know what I mean? And that's another thing that frightens me. I mean, it's that you've got cancer and anything. Low key, man, everybody should be going to get, get checked. Blood work done. If you haven't got it done within the last 12 months, go get that shit done, man. You never know. What your body is trying to tell you, you're ignoring it. Especially out in the UK, it's free. Here, I, it's uh, kind of free, but <laughs> gotta pay for it. Yes, so Somehow. Oh. I pray to God that everything will turn out good. Do you know what I mean? You know, I just got. Believe in it and me. Hannah's been sheltering at her boyfriend's mate Titches all day. Now Simba's decided it's time to pay them a visit. So Karita, you decided to sleep at my bread in the yard? That's not right. Why did you call me to say, yo, how come the woman's outside my door? When they come yesterday, do you think I can... No, he's, hey, he's spitting facts. He might have kicked her out on some drunk shit, but that's facts. Go back. So, Karita, you decided to sleep at my bread in the yard. That's not right. Why did you call me to say, yo, how come the woman's outside my door? Yeah. When they come yesterday, do you think I can turn them back? They said, let's go and talk to Simba. I said, I don't want to sleeping. What did you want me to do? Come knock on my I'm door. I'm not drinking anything. I'm not drunk. What I'm doing, I'm acting what is there. I help them because of you. If I see them in the street, those kids going down in the street, I will help them because of you. Ah, you are. No! What the hell are you doing? I'm going to do my thing. I've left your house. Just leave it at that, yeah. Damn, folks hurt. I don't want it. Simple. Anna, take all your bags. Take all the bags and go. Oh, wow. He's not my friend. I was trying to help him. He's not my friend. Simba's paper is optional. Simba. Hey, Titch don't play no games, bro. And he's red flags. He out the door. He can't receive no benefits. He can't receive no housing benefit. Nothing. Exactly. So if he's not adding to your situation, then he ain't the need to be there. He's not adding no type of nothing positive. So why is he there? He's just subtracting from your life. So you see, you never fucking bite the hand, the hand that feeds you. 
he had money times and times and times to send off his shit so they can sort it out. And he never did. Oh, man. No one on James Turner relies on their neighbors more than fungi. An alcoholic and a recovering heroin addict, he seems indestructible. He's dead. He's lost an arm and a leg. But his latest health scare has got the neighbors worried. Anna's done me some soup and some bread, fair prize, man. So this is going to be me something for later. It's like everybody's giving me my last meals. I want to come back to Anna. Don't think negative on anything, just think positive. Gonna charge, am I? Feel nervous for you. Yeah. I know what she's oh, doing. Folks eating better than me. I'm hungry as hell. Damn. Shit, you're going through. I've been, been there with my mum and that, innit? Yeah. So I've been there with my mum, so I But you know you'll have all the support and everything. No, I have. Road, you know? Every, every support me. Everybody needs me. Yeah, everybody's every supporting me now, and that's what yeah. I like. Oh, that, it's not that like I like it, but I mean, it's nice to know that there's people there's there. There's people you know, caring, yeah. yeah. Right, I'm going to get in. Oh, we'll see yeah. Anna, thank you very much, sweetheart. Don't worry, Anna. You're welcome. Bring my Tupperware back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as soon as I get back to my hole, you know, right back. Oh, Easy. I am worried for him, and he's on his own, really. That's why I'm liking it, why everyone's giving his support on the road. Because it wouldn't be James Turner without fungi in it. <laughs> but I don't know if he would. Yeah, I do hope. I ain't never seen fungi without a beer, without a can. After a visit to the housing office, Hannah's had good news about finding a new place to live. I went in and they said um, I should wait for temporary accommodation after five today, but if I can find some place for the boys to stay tonight and me to stay tomorrow, then it's okay. So. I'm going to go back, get the boys from school, wait for their dad to pick them up, and then I'm going to go sleep at my sister's. I wonder if she transferred all that stuff into his name yet, because it seemed like the housing authority is working quick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you realize that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Titch, Titch put some hard truth in me this morning, and I just need to understand and just... What else hard he put in you? Just focus and just do my thing. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Hannah will only have to be without her kids for the night. That's good. You ain't got to transfer no stuff over. Back on James Turner, Ewan's problems aren't going away. His garden is becoming a dumping ground. But he's not alone. Very patriotic. Britain in Bloom organizer Sue is waging war on the streets rubbish problem. She's heard about Ewan's plight and hopes he'll join in on her next big litter pick. Hello. Can we come in and yeah. talk to you? Oh, I like your kitchen floor. Oh, thanks. Now, you show me your back garden, please. Oh, gosh. All this. Plastic chair. Okay. I mean, you couldn't say the wind had blown it over or anything, could you? No. I'm very sorry this happens. I mean, it's so depressing, isn't it? It's, it's, it's just disgusting. I don't... Makes, makes me unhappy, you know, people... Well, that's what it is. Throw, throw. You and call um, Fungi and have him clean it up for some little money, for some little pence or whatever they call it. He'll do it. Give him a pound or two. He'll clean that shit right on up. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, you know, there's others that are feeling yes. like you. Now, we've got to fix the time and the date. Yes. And um, any objection to a Sunday? No. Nope. Sunday afternoon, do you think? Yes. Let's just hope it's not raining. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. Thanks for having me here. It's all right. See you again. That is disgusting. Come guy, you show us ready. It's the morning of Fungi's hospital visit. White D is going with him.
to find out if the lump on his chest is cancer. Very good about it. I'll be too good to drink now, but I'm not going to have one. Sure. Does he not have hot water at his own crib? What's going on with his shower? Did you buy it last night? What do you mean? You had a couple of cans you're not supposed to drink before you go in for it, into this? Don't fucking take them off till I've fucking gone from. Now let me find your flannel. Five minutes. Five minutes. Fucking stay in there. Ten hours. There's a couple of drinks last night. Hey, low key, fun guy was trying to show her that pickle. Yeah, I see you, fun guy. And I do believe all he had was a couple of drinks. I don't think he had a smoke. Okay. Trying to put them in the washing machine? Good idea, wouldn't it? How'd you feel? A lot better, actually. Oh, no, bad nerves now. You'll be fine, man. You're nervous. Just like no, no. I wonder how this street is now, man. Has any, does anybody live over here? Like, how is this street? Is it still like this? Seems like a, like a, like the, this show really portrayed it in a good light. Man. The people. When you're broke, life in Winsome Green can be tough enough, but without friends to support you, it's even more of a struggle. Unable to work or claim benefits until his visa is renewed, Simba needs cash first. What's the best you can do for me? Because it's on my back. I just want to put some lefty on and stuff, you know what I mean? I wouldn't put them in. No worries, man. Thanks. Waste the trip. Waste the trip. Oh, crikey. How much money have you got at the moment? Don't be funny. No, seriously, tell me. Jekyll. You've got no money. Jekyll, Sodo. You've got no money? Absolutely, Jack. Absolutely, Jack. On me right now, nothing. That's tough, man. I remember back in the day, man, when I was younger and a lot dumber, I would have New Year's resolutions to, like, next year, going into New Year's, I will not have $3 in my bank account. <laughs> that shit never worked out until I hit a certain point. Like, all right, let's start saving money. At home, I think when I was cleaning up, I came across 24 people. <coughs> man, don't it? Nineteen, nineteen. Shit happens, me brother. That's the way it is. Me stressing about me and Hannah at this particular moment is a different vibe, isn't it? To what I'm dealing with right now. Nineteen tons of lucky is what I'm dealing with right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Getting my paperwork through is what I'm dealing with right now. Yeah. Now you want to get your paperwork through? Yeah, all that damn time. Santropay Tan. How much is that then? At the hospital, Fungi's waiting anxiously for his cancer test, but at least he's got his mate White D to distract him. That's the one I've got. He's got yeah. breast cancer. <laughs> oh, there's no hope. I mean, I ain't going bra shopping with you, Fung. I hope I don't need one. Of course you're going to need one. I'll have to tell everyone. No. You're getting moobs. But you ain't gonna end up like me, because you, you went that yeah. look, eh? Hey? I think I'll never have to give her it, though. Hello. Alright, mate. Uh, bit nervous. <coughs> and is this sore for you? Yeah, just a bit tender. So at least it's nice and clean, because he's been showering and everything. Yeah. Good morning. Alright, mate. Uh, oh, I will say that I used to be an ex-user, so you, it might be a bit hard to get a bang now and again, but you should be able to get one. This is like a scratch, okay? You know what it feel like. What shower gel did you use? Not my good dove, I hope. Oh, no, I just used to say. That's not fresh. I 
ain't even gonna lie. I need to go brush my teeth and wash my face after this video. I can't do another thing. All I'm here doing is reacting, and all I can just, I just keep getting a whiff of my own breath. And that, that's not cool. I almost passed out several times during this reaction. It's crazy. Still broken without his benefits, Simba's electricity meter is running on empty. And he's not seen his mate Tish since they fell out <laughs> over Hannah. I just want him to be, to realize what he did wrong. That's why I'm just leaving him there. When he comes and realize what he did wrong and tell me, then we can be together. Pause! And realize. <laughs> what can I do? I really don't feel Jekyll. I've got to be very honest. I really don't feel. Fuck all. What do you think it was that made her leave? That made her leave? Yeah. Titch. A beast. A beast? Oh. Which beast? <laughs> this this year beast. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't blame it on Titch, he blamed it on himself. There you go. Just to let you down. Why, why do you drink? What is it? Oh. Crikey. Oh. You know what? How do you paint this picture before? Hey, I just found, I love my daughter. I love her to death. But her grandma keeping her till tomorrow. <laughs> That's two days, she keeping her for the weekend. That's what's up. Uh, I'm finna go live. After I brush my teeth, maybe doo doo. Eat something, then I'm gonna go live for you. Since leaving Simba, Hannah's been staying in a refuge while she looks for a permanent place to live. Today she's dropping in on her sister in law. I've done all my crying, I've done all my. Then I'm just gonna move on and do what, I'm, do what I have to do. You still want to wish him well. You still got years that you invested. Even though no one else understands your relationship, only you understand it. So, therefore, you shouldn't be horrible because you don't want to be somebody being horrible to you. Tish is like, Tish said to me in the room, it's a hard decision, but guess what? I think it will make Michael become a man and stop acting like a little boy. He said he needs he need somebody to be tough on him. Yeah. Sometimes separation is the best thing for a relationship to grow. So I be deep like that sometimes, and y'all don't even know it. Y'all just gotta check me out. I might write a book or something. Hannah and her family remain in contact with Simba, and they've stayed friends. Back on James Turner, it's chucking it down. But community campaigner Sue's litter pick is still going ahead. And Ewan hasn't let her down. We're going to have a c competition to see who's got the heaviest black bag. <laughs> I've not got much in mine. I'd better get moving. Would you like to push and I'll hold the bag? That's it. It's not easy. I'm not doing very well by poking it in here. I think you've got a better action than me. Oh! She's having lots of fun. Ooh, the scavengers are still around. Sue's very enthusiastic and... Uh, it's a great personality. We haven't got time for the nubbins. There's too many, aren't there? <laughs> oh, so. so what is this, a team of two? <laughs> She's mad. They hope for no rain and it rains. Oh, so she jinxed enough. it. There we are. Beautiful. All those nubbins picked up. So let's go work on his backyard. <laughs> 
<laughs> you call them nubbins? No, no, no. Oh. peg butts or... Oh, yes. oh, right. <laughs> Not bins, <laughs> which is probably what the people sitting in the house are thinking about us, but uh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> For fungi and white D, it's been an agonizing wait to find out if his test show he has cancer. And now, his results are ready. Come on in. Hello, James. Come on, Come back. Have your test done. It all looks okay. Yeah. This is uh, just an increase in size. It all looks okay. Okay. Yeah. This is uh, just an increase in size because of the nature of the medication ah. and the alcohol and the other drugs, okay? There's nothing to worry about. Okay. It should settle on its own, okay, when the response is gone. Um, there's no treatment as such required for this. Other than that, everything is good? Yes, everything is good. Oh, you made my dad okay. look. You made my dad good, look. Have you got any questions? No, no. Every question has been answered, I'll have to. Right. Okay. Nice one, Doctor. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Cheers, sweetheart. This now, to me, I knew he, we all knew he was, well, y'all knew. I didn't know, but I knew he was going to survive because y'all told me he passed away recently, two years ago, three years ago. Chance now. He knows what he's going to do. It's going to have to be realistic about things, and he can't be drinking 10, 13 cans of whatever it is, extra super, alcohol or die. I'm gonna make your life out. Yeah, I know you will now. If it weren't for you being there. You wouldn't have gone? Well, I wouldn't have gone, yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. I'm really glad you was there. And I am proud of you, Bob, you know what I mean? This is my fresh start. Do you know what I mean? Right, it's not gonna be that easy. Do you mean that? Do you mean that? From the bottom of my heart. Fucking love you, Funk. And do I feel good at walking on your street today? Woohoo! You'll never leave us, Funk. Ah, I'll never leave this road. As shitty as it is, it's home, isn't it? This is, this is our home. This is us. This is it. Benefit Street has caused a national debate. You read the headlines. In their own word. I don't want to read this. I don't want to do this one. I don't like to look into the future. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. I know y'all really like this series and y'all like me reacting to it, so just, just hit the like button. And if you can, go follow me on Instagram. Link down in the description. T-H-E-E -E underscore L-I-T underscore O-N-E. I'm gone.